Today we'll talk about the operators. These are the basic operators in Swift. I'm not going to go through them one by one because this is not an elementary school math class. However, there are a few things that I want to highlight. The first one is the remainder operator, which is also called modulo operator. For example, 11 modulo 5 is equal to 1. Why is that? Because 11 equal to 5 times of 2 plus 1. So the 1 is the remainder. For some people, it might be confusing that when the number is negative. For example, what would be the negative 11? You can say negative 11 is equal to 5 times of negative 2 minus 1. So the remainder is negative 1. Or negative 11 equal to 5 times of negative 3 and plus 3. So the remainder can be 3. Which one is it? For Swift, it is always the first one. So negative 11 modulo 5 is negative 1. Remember that the remainder always has the same sign as the original value. If it's negative, the remainder will be negative. Next one is the negation operator. So let x equal to 4, then negative x is negative 4. Another one is a ternary operator. So for example, let b equal to x bigger than 0, 1, 0. Or maybe let's say it's a bool value, true or false. So if this condition evaluate to be true, b will be equal to the first value. And if this condi condition is not true, b will be equal to the second value. The ternary operator is often used with the uh, optional values. For example, let name, which is a string, optional, and it has a value of Bob. Then we can do let n1 equal to, if name is not new, it will be the string inside the name. Otherwise, it will get a default value of dummy. Because this code will happen so often, Swift provides a shortcut, which does exactly that. It looks like this. Let n2 equal to name, question mark, question mark, dummy. These two statements are exactly the same. This one is called neo-coalescing operator. Now let's talk about some operators for strings. For example, var string equal to hello and plus word. So this will get uh, a string of hello world. String plus equal to again. This will get hello world again. And we can compare strings with equal and unequal signs. For example, if string is not equal hello, then we do something. If you have a very long string and you don't want to put them all in one line, you can do don't count your chicken plus a second line before they are hatched. So with the plus sign, you can put arbitrary number of lines of string into one statement. Not every operator can be used with string. You might be thinking string times of 2 will repeat the string twice. It actually doesn't work that way. However, nothing stops you from defining your own operator for string, which we'll cover in the future. Now let's talk about the increment and decrement operator. For example, var i equal to 0. And i++ plus plus will increment i to 1, but this statement will return the old value, which is 0. Plus plus i will um, increment i to next value, which is 2, and this statement will return the new value, 2. And similarly, i minus minus 
will decrement i and return the old value. Minus minus i will decrement i and return the new value. That's all for now. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.